Hello guys, how are you today? Today we are going to start the unit number five. So please open your Smarty book on page number 16. Open your Smarty book on page number 16. First of all, we're going to listen the reading. Look at the pictures and try to read, okay? Just listen carefully. Unit five, track 15. Listen and read. Alex is a robot. He is 11 years old. He has a small nose and brown eyes. He lives with his parents in a modern house in the mountains far from the ocean. He does all the things that you and I do, but he is not like us. One day, Alex came home from school on his air skateboard. Rex, his mechanical dog, ran to meet him. Alex threw the boomerang for Rex to catch. Alex smiled. Upstairs, Alex played on his game console. He was a space pilot exploring Mars. He looked out of the window. Out on the hill, a group of children played soccer. They shouted, laughed, and ran. Then Alex went downstairs to have dinner. Did you have a good day? Alex's father asked at dinner. Yes, Dad, replied Alex. He had everything. An air skateboard, a dog called Rex, and a game console. Yes, he had everything, or nearly everything. I had a great day, but... Alex looked out of the window again. I want to have friends. Did you have friends when you were my age? He asked. Yes, answered his father. I had lots of friends. You have to go out to play and share your toys with other children. Okay, it's a cute reading, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to read again for you. And please listen to me. Look at the pictures. Alex is a robot. He's 11 years old. He has a small nose and brown eyes. He lives with his parents in a modern house in the mountains, far from the ocean. He does all the things that you and I do, but he's not like us. One day, Alex came home from school on his air skateboard, air skateboard. Rex, his mechanical dog, ran to meet him. Alex threw the boomerang for Rex to catch. Alex smiled. Upstairs, upstairs, Alex played on his game console. He was a space pilot exploring Mars. He looked out to the window. Out on the hill, out on the hill, a group of children played soccer. They shouted, laughed, and ran. Then Alex went downstairs, downstairs to have tea. Did you have a good day? Alex's father asked at dinner. Yes, Dad, replied Alex. He had everything, an air skateboard, a dog called Rex, and a game console. Yes, he had everything, or nearly everything. I had a great day, but... Alex, look out of Look out the window again. I want to have friends. Did you have friends when you were my age? He asked. Yes, answered his father. I had lots of friends. You have to go out to play and share your toys with other children. Okay? As can you see, this reading is talking about past tense, in past tense. Estamos usando en esta lectura el tiempo pasado de algunos verbos regulares e irregulares, que es lo que veremos en esta unidad número 5. Please take, take your red color. Let me take it. 
I'm going to take the red color because I'm going to underline. I'm going to underline the verbs in past tense, okay? For example, he has a small nose, he lives with her part, with his parents, uh, he does all the things. One day, Alex came home, came, came, okay? Um, ran through, then on the other paragraph, played, looked, played again, shouted, laughed, ran, went, did its auxiliary, do you remember that? Asked, replied, had, called, had again, had again, looked, did, is auxiliary, asked, answered, had again, maybe just that, okay, maybe just that. Please, you have to look for this, these verbs in your verbs guide, okay? No olvides revisar estos verbos en tu guía de verbos que tienes en casa, okay? Try to do it. Did you remember that we saw, did you remember that we see the past tense of regular verbs, the ending ed? ¿Te ¿Recuerdas que vimos los verbos, los verbos regulares en pasado con su terminación ed? ¿Ok? Esta vez veremos los verbos irregulares que son diferentes. ¿Por qué? Porque no terminan en ed. Tienen una terminación diferente y eso es lo que veremos en esta unidad. First of all, we're going to answer, we're going to answer, uh, we're going to answer these questions, ¿ok? Let me zoom this page. Because we're going to do this, okay? Okay, we're going to answer. Activity B. What did Alex do after school? What did Alex do after school? Do you remember that? After school, let's see, one day, Alex came from school. Okay, what was the question again? What did Alex do after school? What did he do after school? He came home, okay? He came home, he came home, okay? We're going to answer that. He came home. He came home, okay? Number two, what did the children do on the hill? Do you remember? This is the hill in the Polina. What did they do? What did they do? What did they do? They played soccer. They they played soccer. They played soccer. They play soccer. Okay. Number three. Was Alex happy? Was Alex happy? Do you remember that? Mm. No, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't happy. Mm. 
or yes? No? No, he doesn't. No, he didn't. I'm sorry. No, he didn't. Or no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. I'm sorry. No, he wasn't. Number four. What it, did Alex have? What did that Alex have? What did Alex have? Mm. Okay. He had everything, an air skateboard, a dog, and a game console. He had a skateboard, air skateboard, a dog, and a game console. Okay, let's see what I'm going to do. Okay. This is for number. This is the answer of number four, okay? <laughs> this is the answer of number four. What didn't he give? What didn't he have? What didn't he have? He didn't have friends, okay? I'm gonna write here, okay? This is the number five. Number five, okay? He didn't, he didn't have friends. Okay, he didn't have, he didn't have friends. And number six, the last one. Is this a happy story or a sad story? What do you think? I'm not going to answer this. It's your turn to think about this. Is this a happy story or a sad story? What do you think? Okay. Well, we we'll finish this. Uh, I want to show you a video about about the irregular verbs. Come with me. Let me let me share with you the presentation. Okay. It is me, E.D., or you can call me Ed. I usually send doing words into the past, but sometimes it does not work. Oh, no, no. I cannot send these verbs into the past. These words, they must be irregular verbs. That means it is a job for... <laughs> irregular soul! <laughs> On most irregular words, it is the vowel that is changed. Let's change some verbs into the past. <laughs> Get becomes got. Dig becomes dog. Come becomes came. Ah, but if only it was so easy. Irregular Sue is so unpredictable. Strange things happen to words when she is here. Go becomes went. Eat becomes ate. Think becomes thought. I'm a regular Sue. I change words that do. Keep into kept. Leave into left, think into thought, catch into court. I'm a regular Sue. I change words that 
do. Grow into grown. Know into known. Send into sent. Bend into bent. I'm a regular Sue. I'll change words for you. Make into made. Pay into paid. Meet into met. Got into get. Just like a regular Sue, you'll have to learn too. <laughs>
some verbs in past tense, irregular verbs. You ate, the person is it. Wrote, the person is right. Run, the person run, okay? This, uh, this verb doesn't, doesn't change, okay? Read, read, and read, okay? Read, read, okay? It's the same, the same verb in present and past, okay? For example, the rules, spelling rules, spelling rules for these irregular verbs are, okay? We have some categories. Verbs which don't change, for example, cut, hit, fit. Verbs which change their vowel. Los verbos que cambian su vocal, for example, get, got, drink, drunk, sit, sat. Verbs which change completely. Verbos que cambian completamente la palabra. Catch, cut, ring, brought, teach, taught. Okay? Poco a poco te los vas a ir aprendiendo, no te asustes. For your match project, what are you going to do? You're going to make a chart with the regular verbs in past tense. Use this chart to start yours in your notebook, okay? Tienes que hacer una tabla como esta en tu cuaderno de inglés. ¿Qué vas a hacer? El dibujo del verbo. El dibujo del verbo con su verbo presente en pasado y escribir la oración afirmativa, la forma afirmativa, la forma negativa y la forma de interrogativa, ¿ok? I don't know what happened here, ¿ok? ¿Qué vas a entregar en esta semana? Vas a entregar de nuevo la tarjeta con la estructura de los verbos en pasado, esa ya la debes de tener de, desde la unidad pasada, y vas a este, entregar la tabla en la que harás en la segunda clase, que es esta. Puedes apoyarte en tu guía de verbos, ¿ok? Eso es lo que vas a entregar. Ok, guys, let me stop sharing this. Este archivo, chicos, ya lo tienen en, su, en la plataforma escolar, de ahí lo pueden descargar para este, revisarlo, leerlo las veces que sea necesario y tener el ejemplo para hacer tu tabla que vas a entregar esta semana. Ok, guys, we finished today. See you the next class. Have a nice day.